So I'm here with a man that definitely doesn't need any introduction. He's one of the biggest YouTube cocktail guys out there. And uh, he's really, really, really good at flair, which is something that I picked up. So I wanted to learn a little bit about flair. It's something that I've been really interested in. And uh, you're about to see the educated bar fly get educated. How do I get started doing flair? It looks so difficult. So how do you start? Well, it looks difficult because you probably have seen a flare bartending on competitions and it's a lot harder than just a regular bar flare because uh, at the competition we use only half ounce in the bottle and we do as craziest tricks as possible. But at the bar, we basically just do nice fleshy tricks, spins without even flipping bottles really. So that's why it's a lot easier and that's what I will teach you. It's called working flare. You ready to start? I taught more than a thousand students and also tens of thousands of students online and I figured out a system how to teach you in the shortest time some tricks that will pretty much stick with you for the rest of your life. It's like riding a bicycle. It's just few fleshy tricks and you don't even have to really release bottle from your hand. So right. it's really safe. Even you can do it. <laughs> uh, he doesn't realize how clumsy I am. <laughs> Napkin is probably the most impressive trick. You can even do juggling with like maybe uh, four bottles. Like, let's say, look, look, just, just step back for a second. No, no, you don't need to do anything. So this is like one of the like hardest tricks, you know, like you can, you can juggle four bottles, but it will never, never get that much attention as this simple uh, bar napkin trick. And that's exactly what we will learn with you first, okay. but let, let's break it down. Let's use a paper towel and then fold it in half. So this will be our napkin, serving napkin. Cool. Here's what you need to do. You're right-handed. I'm right-handed. So hold your right hand like this, spread fingers. And then with your left hand, just place it on top of your, your fingers. And then do this movement now. Boom, and place it. There you go. The goal is to kind of present them as nice as possible. That's why, there you go. You kind of do the nice movements. You do one and two. You do the wider, bigger moves. There you go. It looks a lot different than, than you, the first one you did like this. Yeah. So yes. it's the key when you learn flare bartending Got tricks it. to kind of sell them to your guests or to your friends. So next one, look, fold it in half, find this uh, angle corner I mean so there you go there you go like hold it like this support it with your thumb and then place it like that so there you go horizontally it do kind of like fingers supporting it like that there you go so and now stay as close as possible to the bar top or table if you do it at home and then wrist is working do a few times like this and try to do this little spin there you go and try a few more times Pum. Pump. Oh, you did it really, really good. This is good. Yeah, really? This is good, yeah. I don't this know. I felt like that was a... No, okay, yeah, perfect. So here's what you need to do next. Combine both of them. So in your right, there you go. In your right hand, hold it. So you do little spin. And as soon as it releases from your hands, you need to bump it and put it upside down. So this is how it looks. You do like one, two, and three. I mean, it looks so simple. That is, see, this go. is where but I'm going to fail. Even the first one already is pretty impressive, even if you just do this one. So there you go, but try it. One. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that was already no, so know, but close. But it was like so yeah. clumsy. It was like, bam. <laughs> yeah, you got, yeah, yeah. There you go. You get really, really close. Again, don't forget that what I'm showing to you is uh, still basic move, but there is three versions. Again, the easiest one, two, second, and this one like supposed to be the hardest one, the one with the, with the bump. So still, even if you do um, in front of someone like this version, it's all about presenting moves because uh, don't 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 try to be so serious. Just uh, <laughs> you, need, you need to be like relaxed. And for example, this is you already um, made a drink for someone. You just uh, Okay, present present the cocktail and you're like, okay, so this is your drink and you try to like have the eye contact and you or the, do the easiest one, one, two, and place the drink on top. Smile and relax. There you go. There you go. Smile and relax. <laughs> it's like the hardest thing for me to do. You always will hit it if you just hold it straight like this. So this is uh, kind of like, because if you hold it like that, it wouldn't really fly. Right, perfectly. you need it to yeah. be like so, a frisbee. Yeah. On the, yeah, there you go. Like a frisbee. There you go. Oh, it's getting there, it's getting there. Hold on, let's try one more time. Nice! 
I. <laughs> that's that's really good. And, and you see, like you always, it will take only what we took us. It took us a minute, so that's why I think uh, the basic one you can always show and do this one, two, and then perfect the spin, and then do all one, two, and three. I, I think it's one of the like yeah, yeah, yeah. Try not to stay far away because if you just spin it from here, it might pew, right, go down. Right, so right. That, that's why yeah, it's safer to do it like on the table. And now try to like do the, uh, for example, with the eye contact, like you would serve someone. Yeah, with a smile. Don't forget, flat bartenders always have to smile. All bartenders. Smile. Oh, there you go. Oh, you see, you got it. Man. You got good, it. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> just, just make sure to remember, like you have this muscle memory, and you try to do the first one, to do one, two, like without even looking at napkin. One, two. We'll do it at the same time. Three, two, one, one, two. Nice. <laughs> there you go. So, Synchronized. And, and do and do the do the spin. So like also nice. Not, not don't put it too high. So like this this is good and not too low. Yeah, there you go. Boom. But still, I want to make sure that you kind of like uh, get it and do the third, the, the hardest one. All right, let's try it. There you go. I think for behind a bar for like basic uh, level this is really good trick and then you can get more creative of course uh, spins like this one where you do behind the head but Wait, that's, what that's did you a, just do? A, it's the same you see it's just the variations once you learn this spin that's it and you can just put it anywhere just do the basic one do it one two three huh? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go on the back of your hand yeah though, right? yeah so wait, you go so yeah i don't even know how that one one to, oh, you go like that. Yeah, so yeah, and you go like that. There you go. There you go. Ah, yeah. But that one is that one's already like at advanced level. That is so. pretty advanced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Just just uh, keep in mind that it's one of the most common and most um, visual tricks. Bar bar napkin. All right, bar napkin cool. trick. So guys, don't look down on the bar napkin trick because it's the most visual, and even though it's simple, you know what? Devil's in the details, right?